In this video, we'll balance the equation for lithium carbonate plus calcium hydroxide. Let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. Two lithiums, and then CO3, that's a carbonate. It stays together in the reaction. We have CO3 here, and we have it here. So we're gonna count it as just one item. We have one carbonate ion. That'll make the balancing a lot easier. Calciums, we have one. OH, that's the hydroxide ion. It's another polyatomic ion. It stays together. Here's OH and here's OH. So we're going to just say we have one item there. OH is going to be treated as one item and we have one times two. So we have two of those hydroxides. On the product side, one lithium, one carbonate, one calcium, and one hydroxide. So it looks like all we need to do is double the lithium and the hydroxide. That's convenient because they're together here in the lithium hydroxide. We put a two in front, one times two. That gives us two lithiums. Those are balanced. The hydroxide, this OH here, one of these times two. That gives us two. Those are balanced and we're done. This equation is balanced. Often in these double displacement reactions where you have polyatomic ions, counting those ions as just one item, if they appear on both sides of the equation, like the carbonate and the hydroxide here, makes the balancing much quicker and less prone to error. This is Dr. B with the balance equation for lithium carbonate plus calcium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.